Hey everybody, welcome to Laura Saunders Smokehouse. I am Laura Saunders and today we are going to take a quick tour of the beast, the Old Country Barbecue Pits Gravity Fed Charcoal Smoker. This thing is awesome and I'm hoping that it will indeed provide the thing that I've been looking for and that is something between my Old Country Brazos offset and my pellet smokers. I really want to get some more authentic smoke flavor um, but I have a busy travel schedule and I have a crazy office schedule so I wanted something that would allow me to have a little more set and forget um, and from everything that I can tell all the research that I've done this one seems like one of the best ones to get it done at the price point bang for buck I don't think anyone can beat old country barbecue pits and what they're offering so I'm really excited to get this one let's take a quick look inside and then I'll do another video on how we season it do a biscuit test and then we'll do our first cook so let's take a quick look inside and uh, get started. All right, so the first thing really quick is the temperature gauge. It actually doesn't come with this. I had to buy it separately. So that's kind of a drawback, but so far there's only one of two things that I'm really not too happy about. You come on this side, you see you got a nice big heavy duty handle and you open it up to about 1100 square inches of great space. So I would say from looking at this, I can probably get six racks of ribs on it. Um, three briskets, maybe with a smaller one here, and you'll see that these shelves do pull out. Um, this is new, so they're, they're a little bit you know tricky to get in and out, but they do come out, which is really nice. Um, again, three grates. We have the heat shield here. The heat's gonna come in from here and then out and around. Um, I'll be doing some tests to kind of see where the airflow is going, uh, and I'll do that in my uh, startup video, but this is just a tour. So uh, again, heavy duty handle, 1100 square inches of grate space. They all pull out. You come with this um, heat deflector and I will probably put a water pan on there or like a grease pan because old cabinet smokers were kind of notorious for grease fires and I don't want that. Uh, I also don't want to clean up a mess because I'm incredibly lazy. So uh, we will just put something right there to catch all that grease and probably maybe add some water so that it doesn't just kind of roast. Uh, we'll kind of see how the temperature goes. You'll notice it also has on here on the door, you've got this high temp seal, which is really nice. Um, this is going to be really good for keeping this box insulated. And one of the greatest features about this box is that it's insulated. So um, when you're cooking on this thing, you can have a ripping inferno, ripping hot fire, and the outside will just probably be kind of warm to the touch. Not too bad. Uh, you'll notice here on the door that the stem is actually coming out um, just a little bit. I will probably replace this with a tell true, probably a four inch stem so that I can get a little bit further into the chamber for some more accurate readings. However, I will check it with my fireboards to see if the temperature, if that's pretty accurate, you know, along where the grate is, and along with the rest of the uh, chamber uh, heat temperature. So again, high temp seal, insulated, 1100 square inches of space, deflector plate, we'll see how that does and what that does to the temperature, heavy duty handle. So we'll close this and move on. Okay, moving to the top, we have the smokestack, which is a little bit smaller than we're used to, like on an offset, and we have the uh, damper plate. So we'll probably run this one open and control temps from the ball valve, which is on the side, which we'll get to. So that's kind of the top feature here. And then as we move over to the other side, again, we have another heavy duty handle, and this is for the coal chamber. It does exactly what the name implies. It is the chamber for all the charcoal. You see, again, you've got some more high temp strip here to keep that heat in and sealed. We've got the chamber, which goes to about halfway down to where the little firebox is. What happens there is that the charcoal will be lit from the bottom and it slowly creeps up through and continues to burn the charcoal at a rate that allows you to basically set it and forget it. The burning embers will fall down onto your lumps of wood, which in the firebox will then breathe through the smoker and allow you to get that great smoky flavor. So let's move on to the firebox. Now we're down here by the firebox and you can see what I was talking about earlier is this ball valve here. This ball valve is what will actually allow us to control the temperature inside the chamber, which is really nice. So again, we're gonna be running this thing wide open to start to get it all seasoned up. And then we'll use this to slowly uh, restrict the airflow through the chamber, which will allow for the food to cook at the temperature that we want. So when we, we're in a few minutes, we're gonna like season this guy up. We're gonna run this thing wide open. And then we're gonna kind of get it down to um, basically running at about 350 degrees. And this is how we'll do it. So you'll be able to see inside the box when we get started. Moving over here, you'll see we've got yet another heavy duty handle, which is awesome. We're gonna open this guy up to see inside the firebox. Now, you can see inside here, this is the chamber. This is where the charcoal is going to rest, right here. And you can see 
that you have a little space here for your fire starter, which I'll show in a little bit. Then you can see as you move through here, you've got the grate which goes into the chamber itself. And if you look up, you can see the actual charcoal chamber. So let's put this guy back in. Okay, all right, so let's close this back up. There's only two things I don't care for so far on this smoker, and that's these wheels. These casters are rather hard to move around, definitely not easy to get over the grass. So I would recommend replacing those. Um, so the only two things I don't really care for is the fact that we have those casters and this big dial, which did not come with it. I think that should have come with it. And that right there is the Old Country Barbecue Pits Gravity Fed Charcoal Smoker. Um, I have done a little sneakily a biscuit test on this already just now, and uh, I'm really, really impressed with the evenness of the cooker. This thing really, really cooks so consistently and so evenly. Um, I will say that my first impression of getting the charcoal up to temp, that took a while. I'm gonna have to figure out the best way to get a lot of airflow in there to get it up to temp faster, but that's just a matter of experimentation. It was fine. Um, and then the ball valve controlled the, the, the temperature incredibly well. So all in all, that was, uh, I'm really impressed so far and I'll be doing a ribs video on this very shortly. So thanks for watching, thanks for joining us. Old Country Barbecue Pits, I love them. And don't forget that you can find us at www.lordsaundersmokehouse.com and we will ship brisket to your house. So we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.